Hello Cancer ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions, Cancers. So what I like to do is just to give you a something a little different, Cancer. I like to give you a Russian gypsy re reading, okay? As you can see before me here, I have the cards are already shuffled and assembled, okay, for the sake of brevity, okay? With this reading, I just want to just explain a little bit about it prior to actually getting right into the reading. Unlike tarot, ladies and gentlemen, that usually um, has both um, inverted and upright positions, with these cards, there are four different interpretations that you might that you could use to apply to your reading depending upon the orientation in which the picture falls so actually these cards are almost like a puzzle that you're trying to assemble and they're only 25 cards ladies and gentlemen so to receive five or more pictures usually suggest well i would say four roughly four to five pictures usually would uh, suggest or denote radical changes coming towards you. As you can see here, um, Cancer, you do have several pictures here that we're going to be discussing. Rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, that this reading simply will not and may not resonate with each and every one of you out there. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the valuable information that you're seeking here. Okay, so... Why don't we go on and get started here and just to examine um, our first card. And, you know, just to just to add to what I've, I've already um, explained, the four interpretations, the first two tend to be the strongest. But as you descend to the third and fourth orientation or interpretations or positions, if you will, the interpretations weaken, usually for good cards. Sometimes it improves for those bad cards that you have here. And it looks like we're going to start with um, one here that we have here. We have the snake, ladies and gentlemen. Keep in mind, if this reading resonates, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with others to whom you think might benefit, and be sure to press that subscription button so you receive all future readings. So with that said, let's just get back to where we were here. The snake, you have that snake here, ladies and gentlemen, and that snake falls, unfortunately, in the fourth position. So this card is all about envy and jealous, jealousy. Bitter, ladies and gentlemen, envy and jealousy here. So, Cancer, this could be you um, who might be feeling this way, or it could be someone else, all right? But... Rest assured, someone is certainly insecure. Perhaps someone is jealous of you. Okay, and this doesn't have to be limited to your romantic situation. It could extend in all areas. Your social circle, you know, your employment here. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the energies that I'm sharing with you, connected to whatever it is that's going on in your life okay to make it apply and if it doesn't apply let let it fly here okay i have to apologize ladies and gentlemen i'm actually in my laundry room <laughs> drying my clothes and i thought i would beat my my last tumble here but it seems that i'm not so the room is shaking a little bit so bear with me but spirit is telling you to do whatever is best for you ladies and gentlemen be appreciative and just simply be honest, particularly in your situation here, okay? We're going to be moving right along to our next picture here as soon as this dryer slows down, okay? And I'm going to point it out to you guys. You have that star there that's shown there, okay? And when you have the star, ladies and gentlemen, it shows that, defin de that def definitely... Destiny seems to be at play in your life, okay? Or and it it ensures successful dealings. 
that you're going to experience some type of success here. It seems, ladies and gentlemen, that there is something about which that you are, you seem to be very passionate or you're pursuing it, you know, and you're focused, I'm getting here, Cancer. Spirit is saying that that endeavor should, in fact, go smoothly, particularly during this time period in question, as indicated, this reading is valid until the end of April here. So whatever it is that you're attempting to pursue, it looks like that spirit is saying, ladies and gentlemen, that it should be very successful. Okay? Let's move right along, ladies and gentlemen, to examine your next picture. I'm going to share these pictures with you, okay? We just actually looked at the star, ladies and gentlemen. So let's move right along and look at the next symbol here that Spirit would like you to know here. We're going to examine next the apple, okay, as you can see there. Okay, and with having that apple there, ladies and gentlemen, it falls in the second position. So it shows an encounter that, an encounter that many of you will have. Okay, and it seems that it's going to be a very pleasant encounter I'm getting, yet unexpected. Like when you bump into someone that you, um, whom you haven't seen in a while, or you're going to receive something that perhaps you've been trying to to get for some time now, and you finally are able to get it. I also feel that a gift of some sort seems to be coming to towards you guys. And then the next picture here, you have the castle, ladies and gentlemen. So, the castle there falls in the fourth position. And the castle is all about our physical wellness, our health, ladies and gentlemen. So this car, because it's in the fourth position, ladies and gentlemen, it denotes a chronic illness of some sense, of some sort here. An ailment that unfortunately cancer is going to remain with you for the rest of your life okay and i'm sure that many of you know what that chronic condition might be so spirit is just telling me to tell you cancer you'll have to find alternative ways to just work around it and just press through it here okay and in order to be this successful i feel many of you will kind of need to find or or perhaps to follow a stricter regime, if you will, or you might consider slowing down on what you might be overdoing here. Moderation is key here with that, when it comes to that here. Something you've, it, it, Spirit is saying that something that you might be overdoing or something that you're not doing that is pleasing to your health might in fact exacerbate, ladies and gentlemen, your existing condition. So much so that it might put you in the hospital, okay? It doesn't represent death or anything, but many of you know your condition. So again, I have to stress, moderation is key. Cancer, keep in mind, if this reading is resonating, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with others to whom you think might benefit, and be sure to press that subscription button, okay? So now we've examined all of the pictures that clearly came through here. So our next task is to examine the last card here, all right? And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you have the firewood there. Let's start with that. So once again, that card is all about your health here. So it's further, you know, emphasizing the fact that, you know, you guys do have a chronic condition, but it also assures you that whatever worry or concerns that many of you have been harboring regarding your health might be a bit unfounded here. You might be being your own worst enemy in some sense I'm here, I'm feeling here. And you might want to examine your lifestyle to prevent disaster later, if you will, okay? This is where things that appear to be there, your health seems to be okay just now, but it looks like that you might want to just slow down or just take better care of yourselves. Let's look at the next symbol here or picture as represented in this card here. We have the forest. So with the forest, this is all about your circle of friendships, you know, people that, you know, tend to embrace you. 
with this card is certainly suggesting, ladies and gentlemen, that your friendships are gonna, going to flourish here. And it's going to flourish with worthwhile people for a change, people of good character, you know, which is something that I feel that many of you need in your lives, okay? And then we have the demon there. And don't be alarmed, lady, alarmed, ladies and gentlemen, because this card is all about your subconscious. The negative thoughts that you continuously tell yourselves that impede success. Okay, so spirit wants you not, it's, it, spirit is saying don't fall prey to doubt, to jealousy, to greed, to insecurity. And you might want to consider embracing a bit more courage. Don't be your own worst enemy, Cancer. Control your emotions. But as indicated and shown in this reading, you might want to beware of this snake. Weary, Okay. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we have here, last but not least, that it further stresses that you need to be a bit more weary about that snake there because you have the fox there. And, of course, the fox, ladies and gentlemen, is certainly all about deception, okay? And it shows, ladies and gentlemen, that in some way, someone around you, um, and like I said, it does not have to be a romantic partner, and but it certainly can be a romantic partner, you know, but it's someone around you who is being very dishonest, okay? I feel that this person, it looks like this person really is not intentionally trying to hurt you. I feel that this person is caught up in a situation from which he or she cannot escape at this point, or particularly during this time period. So, Spirit is telling me to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's time that you consider trusting your um, intuitive faculties a bit more and to keep your radar up, if you will. And this is not only to include your it, you keeping it up in your relationships or your manic situation, but in your work environments, you know? Keep it up with your circles of friends here. Someone might be using flattery to kind of get what they want here. All right. So remember that the snake is present here that I'm seeing. And it seems to me, ladies and gentlemen, that you might also be dealing with a con artist or a person that even perhaps even have a criminal background that I'm getting for some of you. So that is your reading when it comes to your gypsy uh, Russian Gypsy reading. So what I'd like to do for you, Cancer, is to just close this reading out. We're just sharing with you four final messages on how you can inject a bit more resiliency into your life, more kindness, okay? And how you certainly can learn how to at least be a bit more loving here. So let's get started with shuffling. Okay, I'm going to shuffle up my my other oracle cards here and just see what it is that spirit would like you to know in conclusion cancer i presently have a 15 dollar off coupon displayed on my website which which you could apply to any of the readings shown there or certainly you could apply it to a more customized reading based on your requests so spirit what are the four final messages that you'd like me to share with cancer Keep in mind, Cancer, if this reading is resonating, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with others to whom you think might benefit, and be sure to press that subscription button so that you receive all future readings. So, enough said. Let's see what we have in terms of final messages. Spirit certainly wants you, Cancer, to learn from your experience. You can't find the truth outside of yourself. No matter how much you study or listen to teachings, you could clam Kalamazoo to meet a great guru in a cave for the secret of life and they couldn't give you the truth. We awaken to the higher to our earthly life. The truth only exists within your heart where the universal becomes very personal. Next message. 
the answer is. It's time that you aim for transmutation. Consider burning all that's not aligned with the truth of you. The pursuits, the identities, the status. Throw it into the flames of loving surrender. And if all goes to divine plan, you might be unrecognizable on the other side of this fire. As airy phoenix is. Next message, cancers. Wow. Didn't I? I couldn't have stressed it any better. Moderation, cancer, is indeed wise. All things in moderation also applies to healing. Our soul guides us to revisit issues when we have the capacity to better handle them. We're meeting the healing with all the tools that we have all at the time and we're being given the opportunity to become more agile with them. Maybe we learn to surrender even more or to confide in a new person or to hold the problem in ourselves just a little while longer before we seek outside input. And last message today, ladies and gentlemen, it's time that you consider undoing yourself. Self-acceptance will be the undoing of you. The undoing of identities that are terribly false or too narrow. Even the spiritual ones or the socially applauded achieving ones. You will be called to unlearn heaps of dogma. You will be invited to forgive the seemingly unforgivable and to abandon things that you spent a long time constructing. You will have to navigate in the world with fewer operating principles, fewer laws, and more awe. Okay, so Cancer, this is certainly what I have for you today. I certainly would like to see your comments. Again, be sure to subscribe. All right, and share this video with others to whom you think might benefit. And if you need a personalized reading, scoot right on over to my website and schedule or purchase. Thanks so much for your time, Cancer. Enjoy your day.